What's going on everybody? Beautiful day here in Raton, New Mexico. This is John Hester here at Hester's Motorsports here in Raton, New Mexico. www.hester-motorsports.com And we have a very, very nice machine here once again. Got a 2020 Ranch Edition FXT Mule Hester Edition. So, let's get right into this here. So we have first and foremost this bad boy has our Stage 1 Hester Edition Elka Shock Package, which is exclusive from us. Cannot get from any other Elka dealer. Cannot buy from Elka directly. Our shocks are exclusive length, exclusive valvings. And we basically, on a mule, we gain up to 4 inches of lift. Right now we have it set at about 3 inches of lift. We gain four inches of wheel travel, which is a 50% increase in wheel travel. This thing is just absolutely epic on ride quality, terrain ability, how fast you can drive it. You can drive this thing like a trophy truck. It's pretty epic. We have the Super ATV arched arms, front and rear, because we have a 30 inch tire. We have a Tusk Teton machined and a beadlock wheel with a 30, 10, 14, Moto Claw, one of my absolute favorite tires. This thing is an everything tire, eight ply, radial, DOT, wicked rock crawling tire. It's smooth, it's quiet, runs really, really nice. We have Ranch Edition bumpers, front and rear. So this is a Ranch Edition bumper with the receiver hitch in the front. You can see it right underneath the uh, uh, winch mount there. And we have the headlight rails and everything to protect all the body and everything looks really good very very well made extremely tough setup and let me show you the rear ranch armor so we have the rear ranch armor and this one here we have with the step the receiver hitch and flush mount lights in it This customer wanted it to stance out a little bit more, so these wheels are a four plus three, so they're already offset, and we put an inch and a half wheel spacer, so as you can tell, the tires are sticking out past it, which looks so badass, if you ask me. You know, look starting to look like a T-Rex or a KRX, just nice and fat and stanced out. Yeah, sure, you know, if you go through mud, might fling a little bit more mud, but dang it, isn't that part of the fun? <laughs> very awesome so the other thing we have here is we have the fortress tip out glass windshield and the fortress top with the it will flip open here so it's hinged and it has these pneumatic pistons here so this back part will flip open so that way if you have it in either mode three passenger or six passenger mode that you know you can dump it right now it can dump without doing anything but if it's in three passenger mode that will lift up to allow the bud to dump this one is also you can see it's insulated so that way no no rattling no nothing and also completely blocks the heat on it then the tip out windshield which is very very nice so you have nice full aluminum frame here and whatnot and this is the cool thing about it so you could just oops come on ah it's not one to unlatch here for me there we go helps when i push it right so anyways you would push this out you know unlatch it push in my bad so you unlatch it turn it and then you could pull it back in and relatch it to lock the window down in this position so now you still have the protection of the windshield coming right at you but you have lots of airflow then you can just unlatch and let the whole windshield up it's got these real strong pneumatic pistons to hold it up so that way you have a full opening on the window and then you always want to lock, lock it down when towing and always pull forward when towing. So high speeds, not a problem one bit. Uh, these two actually mate together extremely well. So you can barely see a little crack of light there, but you know, it does, does cover it up really, really well. 
where most windshields you have a big gap get lots of gap up there we got a 54 inch curved light bar as you can tell we have it mounted to where it's flush with the top not sticking over the top and then we have a dual gun mount down here that is easily detachable so you can detach it you can change the position tilt the angle whichever you want to do on that Kawasaki in their wisdom they always put the winch way the heck over here so I like the winch to where you could it's right here so we move the winch switch over here and we mounted the light bar and the rear lights in the back over here really awesome setup as it's sitting right now with the 30 inch tires and sitting at a three inch lift we're almost well it's a little over 15 it's about 15 and a half to be exact but um We'll just say just under 16 inches of ground clearance but your solid 15 inches of ground clearance right now um we've got plenty of ground clearance with the arched arms it increases the usable ground clearance because now you have instead of the arm going straight down the arm comes out then curves so you have a lot more usable clearance front and rear going over rocks and everything and anybody gets in your way you just bash him with that heavy duty bumper and not even flinch <laughs> see on the rear you can see the curvature how it comes out and then down so it gives you much more usable clearance underneath the vehicle very awesome machine here backing up just so you can see the whole thing and just kind of walk around Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Rise like a dream, set up to carry more weight. You can play with the preload on here. You know, if the customer doesn't, well, it's a little bit too high. He can adjust the preload and bring the chassis down, you know, just the ride height down to about two inches of lift. Or he can adjust it up another inch from where it's at now to four inches of lift. You could actually go higher, but we tried to explain to everybody, when doing suspension, you want to do it right. Think trophy truck, not monster truck. So if you get up there and you crank those that preload down, all you're doing is shoving more of your down travel out the window you want your tires to be able to drop down in and out of holes without the chassis even knowing that it happened if you jack this thing way up to where you know you could jack this up to a five inch lift honestly you can but you do that you're going to lose a lot of that down travel now the chassis is going to start rocking back and forth through all the bumps so they're not as smooth so the three inch is a sweet spot that's right out of the box we said our hester edition elka's for the Mule Pros at three inch lift right out of the box and just basically bolt them up, go ride and have fun. Once you break them in, put two or 300 miles, you know, maybe adjust your preload, adjust your ride height if you want to set it up. The other nice thing is if you carry a lot of weight in the back, you can adjust the rear preload up a little bit more and bring the back end up a little bit, kind of like a truck. So that way, whenever you load it, it'll be level. So that's a beautiful thing. Really, really easy setup, comes with all the tools and everything. You give us a call, 575-445-3558, uh, or you can message our Facebook page, and just go to facebook.com forward slash Hester's Motorsports, give us a like on there, and uh, you can message us, and you know we can take care of any, any type of order that you could want. Uh, we do a lot of stuff all over the country, so like wheels, tires, bumpers, you know, a lot of that stuff. We ship all over certain manufacturers. We can't drop ship big components like Fortress. We can't drop ship across the country, but we can do local pickup stuff like that. Um, but we can, you know, I mean, we can ship it, but it's, you know, you start getting the shipping is a little bit expensive on that stuff. You start getting big boxes and all that. So needs a freight truck to to do most of that so 
pretty much anything you could dream of we could we could help you obtain your goal get you some really good deals on on all your parts and accessories that you could possibly want Stay on top here you can kind of see the top a little bit better guys now please if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell right here on this page keep up to date we show a lot of builds like this we're trying to do more and more um, more and more stuff on the Facebook page or on our YouTube channel sorry and uh, you know of course we do on, on our Facebook page we do a lot of stuff so it's so saying give us a like on Facebook you know and uh you get to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff like i had pictures of this i had videos of, of us bu building this um machine so you get to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff and tips and tricks and stuff like that that i don't have you know i can't get over to the youtube all the time but thank you everybody for watching appreciate it if there's anything that we could do for you you give us a call like I said there's a website right up there, hester-motorsports.com. You can find our, we have links to our YouTube channel, or links to our Facebook page right on our website, our phone number, address. If you're around northeastern New Mexico, stop on in, say hi. And the biggest question is, what can we build for you today?